Hello everybody, this is Catholic Dad, episode number 135. Hypocrites weep for uh, the burning of Notre Dame. Um, so, Notre Dame is one of the, uh, the pinnacles of Catholicism in Europe. And uh, it's a, really a symbol of uh, French uh, Catholicism. And So what has the Catholic Church brought, brought Europe? Well, there's a great book out there by Thomas Woods uh, called How the Catholic Church Founded Western Civilization. And it essentially did. You know, the Catholic Church gave us everything from... Um, well, first off, I don't even know if you know this, but slavery was essentially abolished by the ninth century in Europe because of the Catholic Church. <clears throat> it was only brought back after the Reformation, um, and uh, really not many Catholic countries took part in uh, the slave trade afterward. I mean, there were some, but uh, for the most part, the Catholic Church rid the world of slavery by the ninth century, and then it came back after the Reformation. <clears throat> but um, the Catholic Church gave us the scholastics, it gave us the um, scholarship programs, it, I mean, it gave us the university system, it gave us um, uh, international law, it gave us the, the treatment of migrants and uh, indigent people, and everybody will say, say, well, slash and burned all the immigrants in, on the, uh, the, the North American continent and the South American continent. Well, not exactly, and if you want to get into that, we could probably uh, talk more on that, but the Catholic Church uh, helped civilize uh, pagan people. Uh, all around the world. Now, it gave us great things, um, and for the most part, the Catholic Church has probably led to, um, through its thinking of science, I mean, the Catholic Church gave us the study of science, it gave us the university system, it gave us the free thought. And I don't know, even if you know, I don't know if you know this, but <clears throat> in Europe, back in the, um, by the time of Copernicus and Galileo, um, there were um, there were two courts. There was the uh, civil court system and the ecclesiastical court system. Uh, the civil court system was uh, handled by uh, the uh, sovereign states, and the ecclesiastical court essentially was dealing with crimes of thought. And um, what the ecclesiastical court would uh, do is it would come in when people were being persecuted unrighteously in the civil courts and try them in the ecclesiastical courts uh, and free them. There was, a, there was a priest named Juan de, Mariana, uh, de, Juan de Mariana of Spain that essentially said that if somebody debases a currency, um, they're deserving of um, assassination. This is back in Spain, and um, you know the uh, Spain threw him in, in jail for fomenting hate. While the church came in and actually freed him and said, "No, that's a, not a, that's a thought crime. You can't you can't um, you know throw somebody in jail for a thought crime." And so there was there was always the ecclesiastical court that was coming in and freeing people from tyranny and oppression from the civil from the civil courts. And um, you know, in fact, the, the Inquisition. I don't know if you know how that was formed, but the inquisitors, the inquisition courts were formed by the church. Essentially, they were ecclesiastical courts. And um, what would happen is, um, you know, the, the states, you know, first off, to get into, a, uh, into an inquisition court, you had to do something really bad, you know, like murder or rape or, you know, pillage or whatever else. And then, um, you know, because uh, Spain was being overrun run by the Moors and the Muslims, um, you know, they were having some pretty harsh trials on, on people, and they were telling them to... They have to uh, convert to Catholicism or else they'll be burned. After they already committed all, or you know, burned, but they'll be killed. Uh, after they committed all these horrible crimes, they had to be guilty of the crime for this to happen. Well, the, the church instituted something called the Inquisition Courts, which were uh, essentially to come in and slow the, the process of the civil courts down and actually give the people a fair hearing and a fair chance to actually convert that uh, they wanted to actually uh, create less deaths, not more deaths. And so the Inquisition was actually a court system created by the church um, to um, save people's lives and save people's souls and uh, like to actually slow uh, the civil courts down and actually tell the courts if they actually gave them a fair trial. And so, um, you know, everybody thinks the Catholic Church is horrible, but it's, it's fed more peasants than any, like all the organizations in the history of the world combined. It's, uh, it's led to the sciences, it's led to the Industrial Revolution, it it's led to uh, amazing artwork, um, and, um, you know, well, anyway, so it's done great good, but, so, the hypocrites weep for the, the burning of Notre Dame. You know, I've seen all these weepy people on Facebook and social media, like, they espouse heresy, right? Um, they talk about, you know, women's rights to choose, they talk about, you know, contraception, they, they talk about forcing people to pay for other people's contraceptions, and, you know, essentially the far-left liberal ideology, which in the terms of the church is absolute heresy. And so what are they weeping for, really? Because they are personally burning the Catholic Church on social media through heresy, right? They're actually um, um, standing up and saying things against the formal teachings of the church. 
and what the church stands for, and then they weep for the burning of Notre Dame. Like, if they hated the church to begin with, why do they love the building of Notre Dame? And I don't really understand that, but I just wanted to point that out, that that's quite hypocritical. Maybe they just love beautiful architecture, and that's what they're weeping for. But if they're weeping for the institution of the Roman Catholic Church for losing Notre Dame, then they better do some self um, uh, you know, analysis and say, well, why are you weeping? Because you every day go on social media and actually state things that are completely heretical. And, um, you know, and this, this deals with it. And there's a whole host of things, you know, um, uh, sexual sins, you know, um, uh, you know, birth control, killing babies, you name it. Um, so anyway, uh, so those who are weeping for Notre Dame, think about the Catholic faith before you weep for it. Because if you actually hate the Catholic faith, don't shed a tear for the Cathedral of Notre Dame. Just don't do it. It's completely hypocritical. Um, and then maybe shed a tear for your own life. Because if you're sitting there leading people in the sin and lead, leading people in the scandal through your social media posts, maybe you should be weeping for the people you're harming. And so I guess that's Catholic Dad just making you think about it. I mean, I want all the good thoughts and prayers to come towards the people of France. But don't don't say platitudes when you mean something else. Don't don't act like you're a virtuous per person because you care about a cathedral, but you hate the faith that the cathedral stands for. Because uh, the faith that the cathedral stands for gives you the capacity to, to say whatever you're saying about the faith that, you're, you know, that, that the faith brought you. So, yeah, it gave you life. It gave us Western civilization. It gave us the university system. It gave us immigration law. It gave us justice. It gave us freedom. It gave, it gave us everything. And and um, that's how Western civilization was founded. And so if you weep for Notre Dame, weep for your faith. Don't be a heretic. You know, um, be a righteous person and stand up for, uh, you know, the, his holy church. I mean, Christ gave us a church. It was Roman and it was Catholic. And uh, it was only after 1,500 plus years that people figured, well, that's not the right church. Let's invent a new one. Yeah, and so well, anyway, this is Catholic Dad making you think about please, please like or subscribe. And... Um, yeah, share with your friends, and uh, God bless, um, and do pray for the French people, even if you're a heretic. Thank you. God bless you.